So earlier today, uh, between my wife and I, we decided to join this good group of my cousins back there in Virginia. It's called Women of Steel. I joined the group so I can kind of help the folk out with uh, any questions they may have on firearms and able to share with them the things that I do know about them. Right here is a 357 Magnum pistol, revolver. It's a Ruger model SP-107. See that, 357 Magnum. It's a five shot firearm. What I'm gonna try and do as I work this is not point this gun at me though it is loaded, but it's a five shot, as you can see. And they was talking about a misfiring. So right here on this table, well, first I got my glass on these and my headphone because we're gonna I'm gonna fire this here weapon. <clears throat> it was speaking about a misfire. So this is a 357. Nope, this is a 38 special bullet, 38 special bullet, and a 38 special bullet. These are three 38 specials. This is a casing of a 357 Magnum bullet with no primer, so it's a dud. And this is a casing of a 38 caliber bullet with no primer, and it's a dud. These three are for real. For the killing, these are going to be for training to show you what a misfire is. The th good thing about a revolver, if you pull the trigger and it doesn't fire, you just pull it again. So right there, that's a real bullet. Load it up. That's a fake bullet. Load it up. That's a real bullet. Load it up. That's a fake bullet. Load it up. And that's a real bullet. So I've got three shots that will go boom and two that will not. What I'm going to attempt to do is walk back here to fire this. What I'm going to do as I close the cylinder, I'm going to, I'm going to pull back the hammer and I'm going to let this cylinder rotate around to this live shot. Once it rotates, I'm going to fire it. If it does not fire, I'm going to pull the trigger again. And I will do that until all three shots have went boom and the two, with, the two that you don't see firing, those are considered misfire. But the thing about it, if you misfire with a pistol, revolver, just pull the trigger again. You can pull the trigger as in a one step and fire the weapon, or you can pull back the hammer and then pull the trigger. But when you pull the hammer back, I'll show you what I'm talking about here, watch this trigger. You pull the hammer back, your trigger is all the way back there where you need it. Now this gun is ready to fire. I don't know what's in it right now. So with that being the case, I'm just gonna put my finger here and I'm gonna bring that back slowly. And just like that, that's how you would release it. Now that would have probably been a real bullet. So. Let me get my headphones on. Keep in mind there are three reels and there are two fakes. We're gonna walk to the back of the house here. And I got a target board set up, so if y'all would just follow me. That's my target out there. What's important here is that you listen for what goes bang and you listen and watch the actions of what to do if it doesn't go bang. Remember, there are only three shots, two of which are fake. That was a misfire. So all I have to do right now is pull the trigger again. That's a misfire right there. Pull the trigger again. And that is how that looks. So the three shots you heard was, was one, two, three, and the two with the holes that are there were misfires. If you notice, all I had to do was keep pulling the trigger. That's the good thing about a revolver. Now I'm going to do another video on the semi-automatic. That's it.